Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. At this point, the governor doesn't have any plans to stop it. And after nearly a month and four prison sentences commuted so far, Governor Eddie Calvo's Director of Communications, Oya Niradikle, says expect more to come. We think what we're doing is good for the public, you know, safety, and, you know, it's, it's going to continue. Back in July, Governor Eddie Calvo signed an executive order to remove offenders of Guam laws as part of an effort to promote personal responsibility and safety in our community. The governor wants to make sure that we're protecting the public, but as part of that, you know, you have um, folks who are committing these crimes who are here under a treaty, you know, and as part of that treaty, you know, they, you kind of got to make sure that you're, you know, um, uh, participating positively in the community, uh, you know, contributing uh, to making Guam a better place and, and really uh, following Guam's laws. Uh, you know, and failure to do that um, does allow for your deportation. Nita Clay says Adeloup is working together with the Department of Corrections, Guam Police Department and the FSM Council General. As for how they are selected, DOC Deputy Director Carla Borja says the individuals are put through a vetting process. DOC takes its list of non-U.S. citizens and weeds out the individuals with federal detainers. Next, they look at the amount served as the goal is not to depreciate the punishment handed down by the courts. The victims are then notified of the commuted sentence. Borja says in the last four cases, the victims were made aware and had no objections to Governor Calvo's intentions. Nita Dikle, meanwhile, says more inmates are actually volunteering to be next. What's interesting is uh, there are the caseworkers at DOC are actually, you know, um, getting folks who are who are asking about it uh, because I think they too, you know, um, uh, want a second chance in life. They they see that you know, here on Guam, it's probably a little harder. Life here is is a little harder or a lot different than what they expected uh, before coming, you know, to Guam. And so, uh, you know, looking at returning, you know, to uh, their home state as a uh, second shot in life. She clarifies that the inmates being sent away from Guam have served a majority of their sentences. As for the money to send them away, Adeloup says it's coming out of DEPCOR's budget, but they are seeking reimbursement from the federal government as an extension of compact impact costs. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.